So I've had a lot of people tell me they want me to make a Let's Play for this Kerbal Space Program. Not sure if it's really a lot of people, but I have a couple people who are interested, so that's what I'm doing right here, right now. Um, so we're going to be doing this on version 23. I did play all the way through the career mode on version 22. Um, I have started a career already on version 23, and I can tell you that um, the design of the ships are different because you really need to bring back the science gear where that's before you can just transmit all the data back and leave leave it on the scene. Um, that's not going to happen in this game because we need to bring that back to get the high value uh, science back. So that's one of the main differences. We're just going to call this um, LP Career. Okay. Pick out a flag for our Let's Play. Let's see. Decisions, decisions. We'll do the rings. Okay, so we'll start a career for Let's Play. Um, a lot of people were interested in seeing, you know, how I built my craft, what I built, um, you know, how I flew them and everything. So this is going to be on this particular Let's Play all total recording is going to record the whole process, I'm not going to cut a lot out, I'm going to record my thoughts through the, um, the actual flights, I'm going to record my thoughts while I'm building it, so there's going to be a lot of uh, time in there talking about things, and if you're, let's say, somebody's not really interested in, in any of those insights or what's going on or why I'm doing things the way I'm doing it, then this let's play might not be something you're interested in watching, but if you are interested in, in seeing it from A to Z and not really cutting out any parts and, and getting to see the whole thing, then um, this might be what you're looking for. So this is career mode, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, start my first flight here. Um, you will get to see all the different uh, pieces because... Um, Obviously, I'll be going through every single step. So what I'm doing, um, first mission is going to be dead simple. First mission is just to get a little bit of science, and so we're just going to launch this individual capsule. We'll do two missions like this just to get a little bit of science off the ground. So um, just a quick and easy way to do this. So we're just going to go ahead and launch that capsule, and here we are. First thing we can do from this um, place is we can take a crew report. See, that's going to give us some science right there. Excellent. What we'll do is take an EVA. Let's do the EVA in that picture down there. Hit space, let go. Walk my guy out here a little bit. Right click on him. And I can take a surface sample. It's going to give me some science. And uh, an EVA report, which is going to give me even more science. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that data. Get back into the capsule. Board it, and that's it. Recovered the vessel. And then we'll see how much science we get off that. It's not a huge amount, but it's uh, some. So I already got 12 science, almost 13 science just from doing that. Um, Let's just go ahead and look down here and see what we got to get to get to this first level. Um, these are the pieces that we got um, from the first level on version 23. Um, it's basic um, capsule uh, rocket that doesn't have any kind of um, vector thrusting. It's a very basic rocket. Um, we have solid fuel rocket. A um, small tank of fuel. Um, this little construction piece here. Um, Communitron, we're sending messages back. Um, communication, I feel, has been really nerfed in this version, so I don't even know if I'm going to use it at all, really. Whereas on version 22, I used it highly. I would have multiple um, antennas on my machine, I would send it back multiple single simultaneously, um, having them in a rotation. This let me just. I'm sure you can just spam it, but um, 
That was how the game was played back then. Alright, so if I look at this, I've already got no science to get to the next, um, <laughs> to the next uh, level here. There's only one option. You get four parts. That's what level four over there means. These are what the four parts are. I got a larger fuel tank, a smaller fuel tank, um, an additional science piece, which is going to be useful. So we want this, and stacked a coupler. So before I've even really even launched a rocket, um, I'm already at the next uh, level. And this only costs five science, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it. I got 12, and it costs five. You know, that leaves me with seven. Now these next levels here are going to be um, 15, 18, and 20. Now looking at what we have here, we have a, a very similar rocket or engine to the one we have now with uh, thrust vectoring. Um, Separatron it's basically uh, allows, um, allows kind of like additional stages to be pushed away when they're um, detached. That way they don't crash into your vessel. And then you have a huge solid rocket booster there. We have uh, the nose cones, um, fins, and uh, radial decouplers. Yeah, they call us a winglet, I guess, but... Um, this is probably really important. A lot of people, I don't know if they know this, but on version, I think on version 2.2, which is the last version, um, it actually does matter that you, if you have nose cones on your, um, if you have your radial decouplers on and you have additional stages to the side, you want to have nose cones on there because it will cause your craft to spin and kind of do um, unpredictable things. So it's important to have those on there. And then there's also the survivability package, which is going to give me landing gear and additional engine and parachutes. We really want to get. And I might take this one first to get the survivability, which is 15, and then this one here stability. So. Let's go ahead and get back to the game here. Just gonna go ahead and do another launch. Well, the same thing, because there was some additional science I can gather um, from the ground sample. You can take two or three samples and still get the science back, even though um, you are taking it back. You don't get 100% science from it. So let's just see. Crew report, I don't think I get anything there. Nope. And what I'll do is I'll just go down here, put them in the EVA. Do is we'll just click here, take another surface sample, get a little more science. EV airport, don't get anything there. So I just want to get that surface sample a second time. Grab, board, and recover vessel. So that's a quick way to get up to the second level. <laughs> I don't have to take off really. So there's another 2.3 science taking me up to 10. But now we'll have to make an actual launch here, so I'll have to put something together. And we got a couple extra parts to start with, which is nice. Um, yeah, we're gonna definitely need a parachute on there. Um, I really don't like to kill my Kerbals, so... I think what you're gonna see a lot is, um... I try to build my vehicle safe, um, so I don't have Kerbal death going on all the time. Um, let's go ahead and uh, just build a basic uh, rocket like that. And I want to get some goo on here to the goo containers. Um, they allow you to get extra science. So I'll go ahead and uh, attach four of those so I can get some. Matter of fact, um, well, that's good enough for now, I think. We can call this launch one. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And I guess I might as well put the date on here too. So I 
like a nice little historical way to put, uh, a lot of people put uh, extra information as to um, how to pilot the ship, you know, what altitude they turn, or maybe different properties of it, but I like to put the date on there, that way I can come back to it and say, oh, I made this on this date, or, or that date, kind of helps me, uh, when I'm going back and looking and using designs in the future. So go ahead and save that, launch one, and we'll actually launch, launch one. Okay. Go ahead and do a goo here from the pad. Right, three signs there. We'll do another one here. Let's get a little bit extra science. Turn on SAS with the T button. I see it turns on there. That's basically like a computer control mechanism. It keeps the vehicle stable automatically. Although there's not really any kind of vectoring on this ship, so uh, well, basically the only thing it's going to be controlling are the uh, there's a little gyros in here or reaction wheels, as some people call them, and then they can basically control the angle of the ship just by uh, spinning those gyros up in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that SAS on. I throttled all the way up. I hit the shift key. And now I'm going to go ahead and the space bar to... Oh, one thing I didn't do is I didn't do my staging there. It's a little overzealous. So when I'm looking down over here. Um, I'm going to manipulate this so I fire my engine before I fire my parachute. Otherwise, it would have fired simultaneously there in the same stage. But I hit space bar to activate my stage. This little green flashing light means that the stages will go off when I press the space bar. I believe you can lock that with Alt L. Yeah, see how it goes to pink. Then you won't be firing off your stages. It keeps it safe. So hit Alt L again. Activate my stages. And here we go. And I might as well just uh, launch in mystery gear right now because I'm off the surface. It's a different report. I'll just grab it again, that way I can get my fill signs. Should have put more mystery goo containers on here thinking about it. Why not just go all out? Oh well. That's all we need. Let's go ahead and throttle down. Um, one of the things in version 23 is that uh, there's things called tweakables. You can tweak them in the vehicle assembly building. You can also tweak them out here. Um, this altitude setting here for the parachute, if I right click on it, that's uh, when it fully deploys. And this minimum pressure is when it will pop. But I haven't activated the parachute stage, so it's not actually just going to pop the top um, until I press the button. But I guess I'll do that right now. And then when we get down to an altitude of 500 feet above the surface, the chute will kind of. Uh, fully expand and slow us down significantly. And I got some rockets there too, so I can use that to slow us down as well. Um, just in case you didn't know, the X button on uh, the keypad will kill your throttle no matter where it's at. You press X, it takes down zero throttle. Um, we're coming down kind of fast, um, almost 13 meters per second. That will cause the engine to explode and impact, so I'm going to go ahead and start slowing this down so we get closer to the surface. We have plenty of fuel, so it doesn't really matter. And I think we am, that's pretty good, 3.6 meters per second. I think it has to be below 7 to keep that thing from blowing up. And it'll probably tip over because we're landing an angle here, but we'll see what happens. Yep. That's okay, though, because otherwise everything's just the way we wanted it. I should have gotten out and done an EVA report while I was in the air. Didn't think about it, but we'll be able to do that again. Um, should have done a crew report in the air, too. That's fine. We'll just do another launch. Okay. 
pretty sure this is going to also count as the same surface sample. Yep. I'll grab it anyway. There's still a little science available there. Alright, can't get back in. We'll just go ahead and recover the jab. here and recover our vehicle. There we go, now we're up to 28 science. So technically we think we can make our science purchase down here. Also for you guys who are interested, um, this is the new um, look of the way you can review your science so you can see all the different things you've investigated and how much science you've accumulated so on and so forth perfect okay and I think I'll take this that opened up uh, additional science here through the Science Junior and the battery and uh, flight control um, that gives us uh, these wings that can basically turn and uh, can give us uh, atmospheric control back out here again, I think what we should do is alter this thing. on here. I'll just go ridiculous on landing legs. The only reason I'm going ridiculous on landing legs is they can just support more weight. Um, why not? I don't care at this point. Usually I would put on like four, but I just feel like being ridiculous. Let's go ahead and do that. We do have all these goo pods on here that will let us get uh, some more science. Let's go a little higher too. So what we'll do is we'll add on a decoupler here. Basically make another stage to a rocket. Add this guy on here. And I think once again I didn't touch my staging in there. Let's go back real quick, revert to flight or revert to uh the vehicle assembly building just adjust that staging. So basically the stage we have right here right now is 
will fire off this initial rocket and also when I hover over it, it turns like a light green. So you can see that will fire off. Next stage, that decoupler will go off, that whole part will fall off the ship. Then the next rocket will fire, and the parachutes will go off. So, let's give it a go, and hopefully with all these scoop containers and everything, it's not too heavy. I'll save a little bit of uh, fuel, so we're coming down in case I need to slow down. Uh, landing legs, I think, can support a impact of 12 meters per second, yeah. So that's it right there. Crash to launch 12 meters per second. And here we go. Alright. Turn on SAS. Throttle up. Mystery gear. I might as well. I got plenty of them. Do a crew report from here. It's not 3.5 science. We'll hit ABA. Oh shit. We're just gonna revert that. Do the EVA first. Do this again. Okay. I think you get up to 18,000 feet to get upper atmosphere. We still have quite a bit of fuel, but we're, um, we're actually picking up speed now. So, not sure if we're gonna get to the upper atmosphere, though. We'll see. Like I said, I'm gonna um, save some fuel in case uh, we'll see um, how slow we're traveling with the parachute being open. Hopefully it be 12 or less landing legs will support it, but uh, you never really know.
from yeah. Looks like we're gonna make that eighteen thousand. Take like more than one command pod. I don't know if it'd let me take more than one crew report then, but uh, it's a possibility. it hits about in that 10 range, I'm going to go ahead and try to do an EVA and do another EVA report. Have Jeb pop out while we're traveling pretty slow within the atmosphere so it doesn't pop off. And um, see that needle starting to come down a little bit. It's going to get my cursor on that EVA. And there's about 10. That's good. Okay, right click on him, do another EVA report. There we go, and reboard the vessel. Now we're starting to get uh, accelerate or downward acceleration. So let's go ahead. Might as well pop the chute. Well, you know what I could do? Let's just try to do this while we're up high still. And go ahead and see if I can't uh, hit the grassland over here. all this fuel but just enough to maybe change our course to get over this a little bit more and stop there. Don't know if that's gonna be enough to get over there, but we'll see. Goo pod, two goo pods uh, that we can use for the grassland over here. What I'll do is I'll also reset this one here. We're over grassland now, so go ahead and that. So it looks like we're good there. Landing leg should work just fine. I'll go ahead and reset this goo container though. I want to do uh, three goos from the surface here. Do we get one for flying over it? especially with all the landing legs. Yep, and go ahead and observe mystery goo. That grassland should be. 
Oh, it's doing crib and chores, but uh, good enough. Crib and chores. Crib and chores. And get one more. Crib and chores. Okay, go ahead and do EVA. Get uh, on the curb and chores. There's more signs there. Drop down here. To knock over the ship. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and plant flag. I like to just mark all the different biomes I've hit up just in case I want to. Well, I guess there used to be more of a reason for it when you were in 22, because you couldn't really tell where you've been and where you haven't been. Um, no, you definitely can, because you can go back and review science, but I still like having a marker out here kind of know where I was and where I got my science at. So we'll say Shores. Um, we'll say 12, 21, 20, Alright, so take a surface sample. Alright, do an EVA report. I already have one. That's good. There's going to be no way I get back to my ship because right now I don't have any type of ladders uh, to uh, even climb back up there to get back in. So I'll just recover Jeb. We'll get science on just him for having that EVA report on him. And surface sample. Except up to 27 science, that was 14.6 is for that for him. And we'll go over here and we'll recover that vessel. One thing I don't like is that it, it brings up all those flags there, but if you right click on it, it takes away your flag, so it makes it easier to see all that. I think it should, the flag should be like debris, they shouldn't come up by default, but uh, they do. So I'm just going to recover my launch vehicle there. All right, and there we go. So that's another 23.2 science. All right, and back. I'll just go ahead and see what we can purchase here. I know I want this. Fifty science, that'll take eighteen. Will that leave us enough for that? No, it won't. I really want that science junior because then we'll be able to get science even quicker because we'll have uh, science junior um, tests we can perform. I mean, I could go for that right now. I have fifty science, go for that. But I really wanted to add. Um, and that should be easy enough. What we'll do is we'll we'll get the extra science equipment. We'll buy that, and I got an idea how we can grab some more science really quick, so we can get uh, this, and then also get this with the vectoring thruster. Not sure if we'll get it just in one shot, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the science right now. So grabbing science tech. There we go. Um, this one's going to be real important in the future because uh, solar panels before we go to the moon are probably going to be able to uh, utilize power from the sun. Otherwise, uh, we could run out of power in space, and that's not a good thing. So, that's that. Um, obviously, getting more science will be important too. Getting that thermometer, um, mobile processing lab, we'll explore that later. So, we don't have enough science to get anything, but that's kind of where we're at. Okay. Now, I said I had a bit of a plan to how to grab some more science quickly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly modify this vessel here, though. Let's go ahead and take this part off. I want to grab that extra science bit. Slap that on there. Though, so I had a couple.
some more parachutes here if I can. stage which is good. Um, don't really need any extra power at the moment. And really since I'm not really planning on transmitting anything, power is now a lot less important than it was. I had power all over the place in 22, but I don't think it's going to be that important. Alright, so I said I had a plan that I was going to grab some science real quick so I could get some more. And I'll show you what that plan is now. All this, uh, Launch three, I guess. Throttle up an SAS on, and my plan is go fall in the drink. We're gonna get in the water and. Uh, Grab some science. Add a little more weight by putting on that science junior, but that's okay because we are going to make it to the water easily. Let's go ahead and utilize all that, and then we'll see. Uh, at what rate our parachutes are going to, or I guess at what velocity we're going to fall with our parachutes, all five deployed, should be significantly less than what it was before with the 12, even with the added part, we'll see. I'll leave full fuel in here, so I'll have all that fuel dragging us down as well. stage. Another thing is what I'll do is I'll stagger these parachutes. So and I'll go off at the same time and rip us apart. Hopefully that does not occur. And it doesn't. And you can see with a fuel or a full fuel tank. Um with a full fuel tank. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to grab some crew report stuff here quick. Go ahead to EVA above it. EVA report, perfect. Board ship. stagger these and have this one go off like a hundred feet higher than these ones go off because of the tweakables. Um, I'll speed up just a little bit so we get in the water. I wouldn't worry about that the little thing that pops up unless you have a giant ship going on. The altitude is going to be actually exactly accurate because we're over the water and the water is going to have a uh, surface height of zero. So there we are, we hit the water there. Let's go ahead and uh, open up three or four of these goo pods. One. That way we can just uh, fully get the science from the water. Two. Three and four. All right, and we'll observe the materials bay. There we go. We got the water. Also, it's not giving us.
that's 100% return. Go ahead and do another EVA. EVA report. Okay. And take a surface sample. Alright, and board the ship. And we'll go ahead and recover that and see how much science we got. Just from bouncing over to the water quick. Almost 40 science, so that was pretty effective. There's a little jump over there. Done. We'll go back to science over here. This additional science is 90, we're nowhere close to that. So go ahead and grab these. Let's grab that. That's 18. And grab that. That's 20. Now we're finished with the, I would say, the third layer. You start with the first layer, go on the second layer. Now we complete the third layer, and this is the fourth and fifth layer of the tech tree. What's become available? Um, this is important because. Um, we start to build complex craft, we're going to want to be able to have these supports to help hold it up. Um, this is less important. The biggest thing, I guess, here is that fuel tank, that larger size fuel tank. But we got seven science, so we're uh, stuck again for the moment in terms of purchasing more. Go back out here. What I'm going to do right away is get rid of this thing because there's no thrust vectoring and I want to have a little more control as I start to add um, the difference between these engines is this, uh, this is 215 max thrust as you can see um, this one has slightly less thrust but it has thrust vectoring which means it can help steer the ship so I'm going to put that thing on alright and let's see what else do we want to do here Now we have radials, so go ahead and add radial decouplers, and just give us a little bit bigger boost. Um, what I my plan is to add solid fuel rockets. And remember, I said um, it's important to get those nose cones on there now. So now we got those. Oops. Now we got this nose cone, so it'll help stabilize us as we're taking off. Uh, just for a little extra stability as well, we can go ahead and put um, these little winglets on there. And uh, if we start to veer off course, hopefully the vectoring on that will be enough. But I think what I'm going to do is have the solid fuel stage go off before that stage. And it's already set up that way now. So the only way it'll be able to correct is with the, the wheels inside the cockpit. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Don't have that. One thing I like to do is I'm finishing up my designs just to go through all the tabs, just make sure that I'm not forgetting anything that was new added in there that I want to utilize. Okay. Maybe what we'll do is try to get to the grasslands and the highlands and the mountains and stuff and uh, get some more science from those biomes to the west. Call this the launch four. Save it and launch. This thing doesn't fall over on the launch pad. See, it's kind of rocking and rolling. Hope that piece is not breaking off. It has not broken off in the flight events. Um, you press F3 by seeing flight events, and if anything was to break, you would be able to see it there. So it has not broke yet. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit the SAS throttle up and take off before it gets crazy. I waited until it was a little bit to the right because my plan is to go to the right. So I just timed it there while I was shaking. It's very little control, just lightly tapping the left. Just kind of give myself a little more sway in that direction. fast, you have those air effects going on. So turn a little bit more in that direction now. 
also um, small areas around here where there's some tundra that was accidentally laid down so you can also by chance hit some tundra around here too and hit that biome up. I actually did do that on my other point two three career just completely by accident and realized I was landing in tundra and so I was taking science and uh, realized I had hit tundra accidentally. I think we can stop that right there. Safe or over grassland now. We'll, we'll see what we can do from up here. Um, another thing we can do is we can go straight up next time and get some upper atmosphere for uh, Science Junior. I don't think we had that when we were in the upper atmosphere before. stage. What I might try to do is try to hit up the grassland and the highlands. We'll see where we hit. But if I use all these parachutes, then um, I'll make sure I land carefully on the land legs using the engine power. So we will see. faster. Just in case I don't think I'll be able to get science extra science from that, but we'll give it a shot. Yeah, flying over Kerbin's grasslands, we'll take that. And we'll board again. Do a crew report. That. that means we can land back here and get another crew, uh, crew report on the grasslands. Alright, we'll take that. Observation bay from the grasslands. Check. Science. One. Let's make sure we fully utilize these. Grasslands. All right, and of Jeb step out. sample. It's like dirt on the grasslands, dirt. Another EVA. Uh, you know, I didn't store that. Joker. 
Oops. Oh well. It's okay. We'll probably land over here some other time again. At some point land in the grass and get another EPA. Six think those next levels are forty fives. Gonna try to do something a little bit different on this next flight. science to buy anything because everything's at least 45. We'll just come back and launch again. Another thing I think I haven't done is do a science junior experiment uh, from the launch pad. We're almost up to 45. Close, but no cigar.
more science. Shadow, see how close we get in the ground until it disappears like that. <laughs> well, alright, there we go. Okay, not get anything from that. Generic report from the ground. We got science with that because last time I was from right above the ground. So that's going to definitely give us an hour 49. See if we get a little bit more from uh, our vehicle. There we go. Another 19 to 68. And let's, look, let's see what our science. That's 45. That's 45. That's 45. No. I'm really interested in this, but just because of the stability issues, I think I'm going to grab this. Go ahead and do that. It's 45 science for that. There we go. And that's opened up. It's like mono propellant stuff. construction it says <sighs> and uh, some flight stuff which uh, in the other game I made uh, in 22's career I made pretty heavy use of um, airplanes flying to biomes on Kerbal to gather data um, and then radio it back. I don't know if it's going to be that useful anymore if I have to fly there, grab the data, and fly it back where I could just fly there, land, you know, transmit that data back, and then recover the vehicle. So, um, I guess, I guess I don't have to actually fly back to the base. I can recover the vehicle on the ground. So, okay, so it'd still be useful. I can fly there, just recover it, leave it on the, ve the vehicle should get the uh, full credit for it so getting a little tired here it's like I don't know four or five uh, almost six in the morning <laughs> that's okay so we got stability modifications and you know number one thing I'll be able to do is we'll be able to Something like that. And that will make it so we don't uh, accidentally rip off our engine when we first take off. I will make uh, use of the stack tricoupler. I actually find it very useful, and I'll show you an uh, interesting way um, you can use these uh, uh, tricouplers. I don't know if you know, probably other people use all the time, but newer to me. My last career I started using the couplers in a different way. And we'll be able to show that. So, uh, got anything down here? Nope. Nope. Mm, not really. Got that. We got the radial couplers that are um, 
farther away from the body, which are good. Okay. <sighs> Sorry about that. Let's see. I say we just, um, not gonna change the design, also we did is added the, uh, stability on there for takeoff. I'm gonna try to get over to, um, the highlands. Get some more science. I'd also like to get that uh, thermometer add-on. Get some more science or where we're going for that too. Especially when we're on the, the surface, we're not in space. I think the, uh, maybe that's not what the one the atmosphere has an issue with. Like um, when you do, you know, air pressure and stuff, you can't do that when you're on the moon. It's useful while you're on the planet. So I'm not sure if the temperature is that same way. I think you can take it on the surface out there. Not sure if you can take it in space. We'll see. Alright. See if we can target to get to Highlands. Um, 
to the time accelerator, you just press the period button on the keyboard. Uh, press the comp button. It, um, that's basically a slow time back down. Back on regular time. And yeah, it falls over. But that's perfectly fine. There we go, it's fine. I lost the goo container. But we got lots of goo containers, and they're a benefit of having a whole bunch of this stuff. And we're in the highlands, so we can do five of them, or four or five of these. Okay. Once again, because I was tired, I screwed up and didn't take uh, my EVA from right above the highlands. Dang it. Should have done that. Oh, well, crew report. Okay. Let's get four there. I'll observe that. Up here, Highlands, and yeah, because we're getting really tired. We're gonna end this up here soon. Here, there we go. Ship again. Take a service sample, awesome, and do an EV report. Science and we'll recover that vessel. Cover another 12.9, taking me up to 50. All right. And here's what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and look at our science again, real quick. And this is 45. I think I'll take the winglets. It's gonna give me more flight control, just like it says. Gonna take that guy. And I think we'll call that a day for now. Later, guys.